Recruiting efforts continue to pay off for Norm Chow and his UH coaching staff. Warriors received a verbal commitment today from 5'9", 170-pound cornerback Anthony Pierce of Mission Viejo High School in California. Pierce's son of former New York Giants linebacker Antonio Pierce. And according to the Orange County Register, quote, Pierce might be the best cover corner in the country, end quote. Pierce is the ninth commit for the Warriors, joining tight end Ethan Watanabe of San Antonio, quarterback receiver John Ursua from Utah, O-lineman Gus Slovaka also from Utah, tight end Clark Evans and defensive back Ron Fields, both junior college transfers, along with offensive lineman Leo Koloa Motangi of San Francisco, Kahuku linebacker Benny Fonua, and Kamehameha offensive tackle Kiha Sai. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. Norm Chow and his coaching staff working at National Letter of Intent Days next Wednesday. That's when football players across the country can put pen to paper to make it official. Pro Bowl practice kicked off out at Couple A High School this morning. One of the NFL standouts in attendance, Chargers QB Phillip Rivers, played for Norm Chow as a freshman in college at NC State. He's certainly been a great assistant, a great coordinator. Uh, many places for a long time has, has a great history with quarterbacks and uh, you know now to get his opportunity here um, uh, at this university I know it's exciting for him and uh, he'll do a great job also playing in the game Panthers receiver Steve Smith he ponied up and paid for all of Carolina's receivers to join him in Hawaii including sort of former warrior Kealoha Polaris since Kalo is a local boy, does he get a rain, rain check on, on the trip maybe? Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he said he was already going to be here. So, uh, you know, so we're just hanging out, and it, it's great, man. I think today or tomorrow we're going to go to North Shore and stuff like that and just just experience, uh, you know, not the touristy spots, but, but experience, uh, you know, this, this beautiful place and, and see the parts that, uh, you know, if you didn't know, uh, you won't see. And so we're going to get to see that. Now, practice tomorrow morning is at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickle. Pro Bowl Sunday, Aloha Stadium, 2 in the afternoon. And something new during the Pro Bowl this year, players will be allowed, in fact, encouraged to tweet during the game. NFL is providing computers along both sidelines. Now, for all things Pro Bowl this week, log on to KITV.com and click Hot Topics. Good news for former Warriors linebacker Solomon Elamimian signing a two-year free agent contract with the Minnesota Vikings tonight, Sally was an all-star in Canada this season, making 98 tackles with four sacks and two INT, helping lead his BC Lions to the Grey Cup title across the border. Ella Mimin was CFL Rookie of the Year last year, and he set a UH record as a warrior with 434 career tackles. Also from the NFL, 51-year-old Chuck Pagano, named new head coach at Indianapolis today, replacing Jim Caldwell, who was fired after his third season as Colts went 2-14 and 14 last season. Pagano, defensive coordinator for the Ravens last year, this will be his first head coaching gig after stops at Cleveland and Oakland in the league, and a long resume as a college assistant. 13th-ranked U.S. men's volleyball team hopes to end its four-match losing streak this week. Warriors host Grand Canyon this Friday and Saturday. Well, I'm seeing a group that's improving, working hard. You know, we can play some high-level volleyball uh, for periods of time, just not often enough where we get 25 before the other guy. You know, we're in a lot of 20-something games. The things that you are seeing, are you, are you thinking, okay, I can work with this, I, I can get this team there? Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt that talent-wise, just in terms of the, the bodies, the athletes that we have, we're right in the hunt. But in terms of pieces of the puzzle, you know, I, there's no reason why we can't compete to be one of the better teams in the league. Now, Warriors are 2-5, and five, Antelopes are 5-3. and three.